here's the basic piriformis stretch. You're going to sit up, you cross the bottom leg under, and then you tap heel over, like so. If I show you from the back, you can see that this hip or this butt cheek is not on the floor. I'm going to be thinking in this stretch about getting taller and pulling this guy to the floor. It's going to take me a few, like even right now, personally, I'm just sitting in the stretch. Like I'm just starting this myself. So I'm trying to get comfortable and feel the outside of this hip or the stretch on the outside of that hip as best as I possibly can. So this is a good position for me. I can feel the stretch. And then as I'm in it, I'm actively fighting to pull my hip or pull my butt closer to the floor. I'm fighting to sit up a little taller. And then if I still need more, I can separate or pull this knee in further over. So just like kind of winding up the stretch a bit. I've uh, coached and seen variations where I'm just rotating to you a little bit so I can do this, where you pull into the stretch and put a little more body weight like this. Okay, but this is a balancing act as much as it is a stretch. But if you can find the right angle, like even this for me sometimes feels nicer than having to sit up tall. As long as you feel the stretch and you feel like you're working to pull the hip uh, to the floor, I don't mind the position as long as you're feeling it in the outside of the hip. So that is the basic piriformis stretch and a few ways that you can um, do it or, or angle it or build tension in it so you can feel the stretch where you need it the most.